those lines that kind of just stood with me. Um, speaking of uh, one of those lines, I think one of the hardest things for me is figuring out the first line of a poem, the entry into a poem. You know, it's supposed to be the line that makes the reader keep reading. <laughs> so it, it holds a lot of weight. But I think at the, this poet's first line, I was undone. Um, Ava M. Fields, just so you guys can hear it more than once, opened the poem with, they say your first love should be a guillotine. Please show some love for Ava M. Fields, y'all. Thanks, everyone. Oh, just pronunciation is Ava. Just my mom's watching, you know. I'm so sorry. <laughs> no problem. Um, so this poem is called In the Days That Followed. Um, it is basically a poem about self-accountability and self-inventory which I think has been especially something on my mind over the last like year and a half, two years. And I think that especially in a city like this where I was like born and raised, um, a lot of my attitudes and my values come from being from here. So that's sort of what the poem's about. So here we go. They say your first love should be a guillotine, a swift indoctrination, and maybe revolutions are built on bodies Maybe streets flow with dissension and glass while the lucky ones watch from their porch. So we board up our doorways and falter, collecting the universe in spades. We bankrupt our homes with captives and victims and bellow in agony for the things we allow. We do lines of indignance without remorse, settling for a rapture reigning with peace. And I move like honey, covering my path in all the red flags, I think of the start, all my visions of prey making their escape, of the children in cages, of the crossfire in the boardrooms, and the acute death of process. We only break for ourselves because memories grieve in our bones and our wings are melting in the sun. That's it. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, it says that's it, while also saying I move like honey. Um, thank you so much, Ava. Shout out to mom and the audience, you know, got to get that right. You know, that, that name came from the heart, I'm certain. Um, thank you and congratulations again, poet. Um, Jordan Escobar.